it is what it is, man. It's sweet, it's indulgent, you don't have all these technicalities to worry about. It's just fun. And quite tasty as well. Hey everybody, it is Eric, and we are making the mudslide today. This particular drink, it's indulgent, you know, it really is. And I've been making a lot of more classic style cocktails, prohibition era cocktails, but every once in a while it's fun just to throw it all out and have something sweet and that kind of goes against a lot of the principles of original cocktails. And that's where this comes in. And why not? I'm doing a quest this year to do 100 drinks throughout 2020. And if you want to be a part of it, you can click down below, hit subscribe, and the bell icon. That way you get notified throughout all of these drinks. This particular one, most people might know it. And if you haven't heard of it before, you've probably seen something similar, you know, made. Or have had something similar even. So here's what you're going to need to make a mudslide. So to get this started, we are going to start with our base liquor, which is vodka. And this is just kettle one that I'm using here. Any decent vodka will work just fine. Actually, don't even have to be top shelf. It could be cheapo stuff too and turn out just fine. Uh, the next thing would be a coffee liqueur, Kahlua, the most well-known. Another good well-known one that's not quite as sweet would be Tia Maria. And finally, it would be some Irish cream, of course, Bailey's being the dominant name in the Irish cream category. Uh, there are some other great Irish creams out there as well. Um, these are the most popular ones, the ones that everybody knows, and that's why I chose just to stick with them. So let's get ourselves a shaker tin and get ready to make a mudslide. First things first is going to be the vodka. We're going to start off with an ounce of our vodka. Right into the tin. Next up, we're going to use our Kahlua. And this is a brand new bottle. Brand spanking new. It's going to be an ounce of that as well. Right into the tin. So... We pretty much have made a makeshift Black Russian at this point. What differentiates it, of course, is the Baileys. And it's going to be an ounce and a half of the Baileys, which is also new, if you couldn't hear that. Oh, yeah. Ounce and a half into the tin. Oh. I love the way that smells, you know? It's great. So. It's going to be a nice big scoop of ice and we're going to give this a shake. I like to shake it a little longer than I normally would. Don't take that the wrong way. Um, I try to whip it up a little more. This is one of those drinks that's really good frothy. So it's going to be a rocks glass it's just a couple nice cubes of ice you don't have to go crazy here there we are and it's going to get strained over the top it should be thick and creamy and oh so dreamy Oh yeah. You should get a really slight foamy head at the top of it. Nothing too crazy. Um, a nice little touch that is totally optional is to grab a thing of chocolate. It's just a cube of... I'm using dark chocolate here because it's what I have. Just grate a little bit of chocolate over top. Yeah, doesn't that, uh, doesn't that look cool? Oh 
All right. This is how you make a mudslide. This, I mean, I don't have to taste it. I'm just gonna tell you, it's gonna be sweet. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's good stuff. A mudslide is literally like a mocha frappuccino with booze. Like, it's the closest comparison I can make to it. It's delicious. Drinking for dessert is essentially what this drink is. And I do not have a problem with drinking for dessert. Trust me. Now that, that's good stuff. I do enjoy that. So this was a mudslide cocktail. If you like that kind of a drink or you're just interested to see what other drinks I make this year, what other drinks are part of the 100 drinks in 2020, don't forget you can hit the subscribe button down below, the bell icon. It'll notify you when I post any new videos. But until next time, I want to thank you for watching this one. And remember that if this idiot can do it, so can you. Cheers.